the microphone is now on. So let me repeat what I just said. Uh, welcome to Thomas Talks Tea, where on Tuesdays we used to do our tea bag Tuesdays, which I recently renamed to the Tasting Tuesdays to make it a bit more accessible to the general audience, I suppose. Um, and it also coincides with a tea tasting Tuesday event that I occasionally have on Tuesdays. Um, two hours before this stream starts at a tea store around the corner from where I live. So we may occasionally have to move the stream one hour um, further into the evening. But uh, I thought we'd start at, at 7 my local time here today to to see how this this goes and to get reacquainted and and get our feet wet with with um, twitch again i feel like i need to either sit even closer you know what i'm gonna try something because i am sitting standby oh that's just as good a time to test the be right back stream uh, let's see And uh, we're back, I think. That's better. No, it's sitting here much lower on the on the ground. You can't see my Uncle Iro shirt that well, but yeah, I like it. I like what I see here on my my screen. Hope this works for you. Um, where was I? So Tea Bag Tuesday, not longer Tea Bag Tuesday, but now Tea Tasting Tuesday, 7 p.m. local German time here, for an hour or two, depending on um, on how things go. And um, should we get just started by maybe putting the kettle on? Got my trusted electric kettle here with a um, temperature measuring device attached to it. And I'm going to order just uh, what should we do? So I've seen it. So this has a choose a temperature here between 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100 degrees. I usually for the most teas these days I go for 90, maybe 9, but 95 is already I feel like uh, I'm going to destroy the, uh, the, the tea leaves really. Um, you can go higher in temperature for more robust black teas, for a lot of oolong teas, but then you want to in exchange go for a much shorter infusion time. Personally, 90 degrees really for a lot of oolongs and white teas um, is and that's what I drink a lot of times these days is is the temperature to go for me and then green teas of course we go much much further down to, to 50 60 degrees maybe 70 max or that's what I do not that's what we do because it depends on each and everybody's personal taste um I hope the audio is all right. Please, um, if you're watching, let me know. Um, as you can see, we're back on OBS today with the stream. I just didn't want to give up on the on the on the fancy setting um, so fast. So the only thing that could possibly go wrong would be the camera lagging again. We'll see. We'll see. I hope I managed to. Fix everything now. Those who are new to Thomas Talks Tea or to the channel formerly known as Tea Games and Star Stuff, uh, this is where we now entirely focus on tea, which was why I thought why not um, kind of prepare a little bit of a tea scenery here that I usually have here at home, somewhere around the house. I chose to um, use this la rather large table here. 
And um, I'm sitting on the floor, as you can see. And in front of me, I have a bunch of uh, accessories of sorts, teaware, a plain old glass teapot, as a, that I'm going to use as a serving pot or pitcher. Um, a very simple, but one of my favorites, arguably, porcelain teacup of medium to rather large size, because as you can see, we also have these tiny ones here. And then um, what else do we have? A fine strainer here to make sure no broken bits and pieces or leaves get into our teacup. And then kind of at the center of it all is this beautiful and useful vessel. It's called the Gai Wan. Gai in uh, Chinese is lid. Wan is the bowl. So it's a, a bowl with a lid. Um, and that's exactly how we're going to use it. Much like you could also use a teapot. Are we going to be a bit noise there of the electric kettle right now? So, um, yeah, this is a clay teapot, unglazed. Let's see if the, uh, the light is not ideal to show you the inside of these. Um, yeah, and the strainer integrated here in the front, so you can just throw in your tea leaves and just brew away. And with the guy one, it maybe requires a bit more practice because you want to you don't have a strainer here, obviously, or filter. You just want to use the lid and then go like this, which we are going to do together. Now, question is, what tea should we drink? Um, I've got one here in front of me. But this is more to advertise our Instagram stream tomorrow at about the same time. I think one hour, two hours late. I think it's 9 p.m. my local time here. 5 p.m. Brazilian time. And I'm saying Brazilian time because it's going to be an Instagram stream of Cleo, my friend Cleo Charista and myself over on um, Instagram.com slash Cleo Charista or Cleo uh, or Thomas Talks Tea. Excuse me. And we're going to talk about Brazilian tea. And by that I mean um, not necessarily tea that's traditionally native to, to Brazil. We can also touch on that topic, but more importantly on, in case you didn't know, the East Asian slash Chinese, Japanese, Taiwanese, um, Korean, and then uh, from other reasons, um, even Indian tea culture that exists in Brazil. Um, Cleo is from Sao Paulo, and she's going to tell us and share with us her experience as a fellow tea educator and, and um, a tea expert working in Brazil. And um, this tea she gifted to me two years ago, I want to say, maybe one year ago, I always forget. We'll figure that out tomorrow. She gave it to me when she visited us here in Cologne and she made it herself. So this is a white tea, technically, even though it doesn't look much like it. And tomorrow we can, we can ask Cleo all sorts of questions about this tea. And so this is a tea she made in Brazil. Hence uh, the, the talking Brazilian tea culture. So much this and much more tomorrow over on Instagram slash Thomas Talks Tea and or Cleo Charista. Make sure you're there. Um, not sure if we'll be able to record and maybe share over on Discord, maybe put it up on YouTube afterwards for those who are not on Instagram. We'll figure something out. But uh, if you are on Instagram, make sure to follow me there at Thomas Talks Tea as well. Thanks. And now the camera is either frozen Unstable, it says. Bitrate too high. Average stream bitrate too high. Bitrate too high. Okay, I'm going to have to fix the bitrate, I suppose. Average stream bitrate too high. Poor network connection detector. Average stream. Okay. Um. Interesting. Let me fix that. We'll be right back. I'll probably have to restart the stream real quick.
Okay, and I'm back and we can actually go to the full screen scene here. Yeah, it still says unstable. Let's see if it's going to... Yeah. Not sure if this is from the camera or from the OBS. Use the bitrate further? Question mark. Okay, so I reduced the bitrate quite a bit. <laughs> and here we are talking about technology again instead of T. So I had the bitrate for the tech nerds among you at the bitrate at 7500. And I reduced it to 4500 now. But I still feel like this is from the camera. See if it comes down. Let's make C T and see where this goes. Yeah, if you want to support the stream and um, give me the funds to buy a better camera, where is it? It's uh, down here kofi.com slash tgames and star stuff because this stream is brought to you proudly by the tea games and star stuff empire and now let's have some tea so this tea tomorrow brazilian handmade tea by my friend cleo instagram say hi and now i would like to drink something a bit darker and that is probably the one behind me So, for today's Tea Tasting Tuesday, what we're going to have is this one. Mm 
So I need the preview on OBS, otherwise use need to be able to see what's happening. There you go. So this is a shampoo. So a what is this really? I would say a tea that's processed first similar to a green tea and then it's stored to um, ferment, ripen over time. And this specific one was produced in 2007. Unless I'm totally mistaken. 2007 it was. And stored in Hong Kong. And then in Düsseldorf here next to Bilal. And for a year now, it's been at our household. And I'm going to share this one with you now. So this is basically what it looks like if you've never seen a pressed tea or a tea cake as you can see this used to be a complete one and now it is up to me to break up a little bit the pros the ones who drink more who are than i do have special have a special knife for that actually i usually just do it by hand like a knife somewhere but and then we'll just put this in the guy one. Yeah. Like so. And then these bits and pieces that are still here. I'm going to also put them in here. Because they end up everywhere otherwise. That's actually a bit too much. And then I'll try and let me just let's leave this like this for the time being so you can see it. End of advertising for tomorrow's stream, so I'll put this one away. I just need to test real quick if uh, my voice is louder than the music. Sounds fine. Okay. Thanks for standing by. So I, I was talking about 90 degrees and now um, change of plans. We'll actually have to go to 100 centigrade for this one. So um, who are T's or stored teas in general, I'd usually go and always recommend to go with uh, really high temperatures. And um, the rinsing of the tea leaves that you may remember that I do, that I do for almost all the teas, we're going to do this twice in a row here. So it's really more of a, more a washing of, of the tea leaves and uh, not so much a waking awakening of tea leaves as we as is the case with other teas, because you never know where it was where it was stored specifically and under what conditions so can't hurt to rinse the leaves a little bit oh, coffee bot stream visit the uh thank you very much did i say coffee and then it automatically spammed the link that would be fun so i do this once like this and then kind of immediately discard the water. If you like, you can say hello to Uncle. Uh, not Uncle Iroh, to Little Iroh. Who was Little Iroh? Little Iroh is here. Hello, Little Iroh. Little Iroh is a bit shy. Okay, Little Iroh is going in here now because Little Iroh likes to take a bath in the discarded water. Thank you. 
and the second one. And then we're good to go. And the first thing I always do is we dig in with the nose and just enjoy the fragrance. It's so such a such an important moment for me. For for any tea really. It's just infuse and drink, infuse and drink, re-infuse and drink, and with a specifically with a shampoo R, you can do that ten to fifteen to twenty times. There's there's really no end to it. With the important part being the first infusion should be really short. So I'm going to start here with. 10 to 15 seconds only and then each following infusion we can go five seconds up 15 20 25 or we just keep with 15 to 20 seconds really depends also on your personal preference and there you go that's already a nice tea isn't it And we've got ourselves a visitor. Hello, Mod Josh. Is it is it really you? <laughs> um, glad you're here. Maybe you can help with the technical difficulties. Of course. What what would tea games and star stuff end or Thomas talks tea without technical difficulties? Um, I'm not sure if it's from the camera or the 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 bitrate that's not ideal. But I think I I think it's it's better now. Maybe I put the bitrate too high. 4,500 is probably fine for the 1080p stream at 30 frames. You've come to the right place, my friend, at the right time. How have you been? Can I offer you a cup of tea? Everybody Mod Josh is in the house, so you better behave. Um, I think we're good. We're no longer dropping frames. We dropped frames earlier, but the percentage is... It was at 17%. Now it's down to 12%. So I think the... The total amount of dropped frames um, seems stable. We're no longer dropping. I think I just put the frame rate, uh, the bit rate, too high um, for some reason. Let me move the camera a bit more, a bit further back. So, do, do, do. Uh, that's what I wanted to avoid the ugly white corner there and the. But I think that's better than, than me being cut off. But I think it's it's uh, looks at least on my second screen here, the stream looks fine. Twitch is still warning me that the stream is unstable. But so we're having Changpuar, this one here. Do, 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 do. Showing the tea, showing the tea, showing the tea. Trying to get the tea in better light like this. And we already infused it. You missed the, the rinsing, or rather the washing of this tea. From 2007, stored in Hong Kong, and now for Roughly a year here in Germany. Hello. Yeah, that would do it. Seems fine for me so far. I'm doing good, very busy. New job, about to move to. So it's all systems go at the moment. Same here, same here. That resonates with me so much. Um, not moving. <laughs> Still stuck in Cologne. Um, but also kind of, at least currently, at peace with, um, with being where we are, I think. Um, Twinkatron7000, I like your username. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for the follow. Um, yeah, 
Josh, great, g glad to hear you. You're doing, you're doing good. Um, yeah, but likewise, full steam ahead here. I'll be. I think I shared it on the Discord server already. I'll be. Um, I'm going to start working full time as a freelance or self-employed tea educator again, and and business consultant from first of May on. Something that I've been doing part time. And um, yeah, since I quit my my day job last year, <laughs> it's time to get get back to work. And um, that's what's that's what's going to happen. And I thought, what better than um, to to return also to Twitch maybe for a little bit with Thomas Talks Tea. Now that I'm restarting Thomas Talks Tea as a full time business. And that's why we're here and that's why tea bag tuesday is now called tea tasting tuesday to as i said earlier um maybe be a bit more compatible with the more mainstream target audience not even sure if that exists here on twitch and uh yeah, let me use this sniffing cup here nice and then slurp away Full-time freelancer, right? <laughs> Thank you. Without giving away too much of my um, secret business plan, I already did tea seminars and events full-time like 10 years ago. Um, it was probably more sustainable back then than it is now because uh, everybody is a tea expert these days and everybody does tea seminars these ways and um, some of these so-called tea experts are not even able to prepare tea properly as you can see here from me spilling the tea <laughs> um, and because that is so I uh, so I'm going to do tea seminars and business consulting mostly focused on the tea industry on um, tea, uh, tea farmers tea brands from, from East Asia that want to improve their sales here on the German speaking market, but also Europe in general. And um, then beyond that, brand consulting and, and um, communication consulting in general, also for other areas of business, if need be, or if it's a project I'm interested in. <laughs> hey Saturnine, wie geht's? Um, you look like a drug lord with that hunk of a dank chai. Well, okay. <laughs> um, I mean, I brought my nerdy Uncle Iroh shirt, so um, you've yet to see me in full drug lord, tea drug lord attire. Let me see if I can. This should be clean. Let's call it clean. And share some of this tea with the other people here in the room. Time to enjoy. Oh, for those who haven't seen it, I love the new overlay. Let me th let me th let me think what you say. Let me know what you think. That's that's the one. Um, give me ten seconds. That's the be right back screen and um while we're at it talking scene this one here um speaking of um self-advertising if you are curious about tea um beyond thomas talks tea your free tea uh, sessions here on twitch um go check out thomastalkstea.com where i share with you my tea journey and you can catch up a little bit more about my story and my services and if you are interested we can also arrange for a tea seminar a tea workshop available also as digital formats via skype discord um you name it and um 
yeah, for a group of people because then it's really more realistic to to um, figure that out. And then I can also maybe send you tea and we can do a remote tea workshop. If you happen to ever get to Cologne or the area or to Germany, please let me know so we can meet up for tea. Anyway, thomastalkstea.com. Sign up for the newsletter. Okay, and we're back. Cool, be right back soon. It feels like it needs a photo of you somewhere though to personalize it a bit. Yeah. Yeah. This is not about me, Satellite. This is not about me. This is about tea. So, um, I, I, I get what you mean, but um, the less personalized and the more focused on the, what, the one thing that I'm passionate about, the, the better in my book. This doesn't need to. This this used to be the Thomas show. It's fine now if it's called Thomas Talks Tea and we focus on these um, leaves and the beverage. Let me see if I can. There you go. Showing the tea leaves. Showing the tea leaves. Which reminds me. Is it still possible? Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> Good point. Good point indeed. Um, let me just... Amazing. Streaming on Twitch. Right. No, sorry. <laughs> um, my friend Cleo just sent me the, um post that we're going to put up on Instagram to advertise our stream tomorrow. For those who missed it, tomorrow, Instagram.com slash Thomas Talks Tea and Cleo Charista as well. Where did I put it? I put it here. We'll have a special stream, Cleo and myself, um, about Brazilian tea, or I should say Chinese, Taiwanese, Korean, Japanese, and other specialty tea culture in Brazil, specifically in Sao Paulo, where Cleo is from and lives and works as a tea specialist. And she made this tea herself. And we're going to talk about this one. This is a, I'd categorize this as white tea, but we'll ask Cleo tomorrow more about how she made it, how she makes tea in general, because she, she started to make her own tea, small batches only, I think, but that's really something I'm curious to share about with everybody. So tomorrow, over on Instagram. Make sure to be there. And now let's reinfuse this one. Once more, because this is only the second infusion. And as I said, we can make at least 10 to 12 to 15 to probably even 20 with this Shang Puar. So a tea from Yunnan in China that's first processed very much like a green tea. And then it gets stored and it ages over time and changes the character totally changes from something that's really more reminiscent to a green tea or a hybrid between white tea and green tea in terms of taste the fresh chung reminds me almost always always of a little bit of a rougher green tea or white tea and um, yeah then it turns into something like this and if you leave it for another five or ten years, it's going to get even darker. To the point where it then resembles the Fu Puars, which are really the the um, Puar teas that kind of get where they, the aging process gets accelerated by means of um, the fermentation. So bacteria and yeast that get added to the tea leaves in order to induce a, a fermentation process. And that speeds up this whole aging process and then within three to four to six months you'll have a tea that looks um, similar to what this tea will look like after maybe 20 30 years of, of aging it's a very fascinating topic shupua was then obviously created as you may have guessed in as an as a response to the increased demand for aged teas so they kind of found a way to artificially age them within very short periods of time so again, sniffing and zipping cup here, so I just do like this, then 
ever so carefully. This, the shape of this cup just makes it so that it really holds on to the, the aroma. So it's much better to detect them with your nose. Great tea. Great tea, really. I have a larger cup. I always have cups behind me, so why not use this one? Yeah. We'll probably have a second camera again at some point. Until then, we'll have to do with what we've got. Do you have this? Do you have to spit out the tea when doing a tea tasting at a tea house? Well, um, so the thing is. What I do is within the tea industry, I focus on, due to my background in, in brand strategy and communication consulting, I focus on consulting tea houses, tea brands on their customer experience. So how to improve that? Because a lot of traditional tea spaces, at least here in Germany, have a lot of good teas, but they are kind of sometimes a bit behind when it comes to a, a modern or even approachable product experience. Let me put it like that. And so that's one of the things that I do to help, help tea stores, tea businesses present their teas in a more accessible way uh, for their respective target audience. And, um, and also help them how to, how to talk about tea in a more you know, easygoing way and, and make it make it sound inviting and, and uh, get more people into tea and open that window or that door to the world of specialty tea. That's really my, my passion to do, to make tea accessible to, to people who so far know nothing about tea, but are curious, um, but also a bit maybe scared to ask the right questions and stuff like that, uh, the wrong questions and stuff like that. And then the second part is, um, back to your question, tea tasting, I do tea seminars slash workshops tasting sessions for a general audience of usually people and that's my favorite audience who as i said already know little to just a little bit to nothing about tea so far or they know a little bit but they want to learn more they want to have so many questions about basic things really but do i have to filter my water what water temperatures what what's what's this sky one thing how do i use it um where in the world is tea from how does it get harvested uh, or grown harvested uh, processed and stuff like that so that's that's what i focus on and my tea tasting sessions are really just a more casual format i want to say where we gather as a as a larger group of people so it's not so much about listening to my monologues um, as we do here on Twitch and in my tea seminars for three hours or two hours, but rather just I make tea and, and we, we all experience the tea. Everybody um, can share their, their personal experience and their personal sensations and what they think about the tea. And then I, I share a little bit about the background and where it's from and what category of tea it is and, and so on and so forth. So it's really more about the enjoyment of tea, about learning about tea, enjoying tea. The um, Spitting out of the tea is really something and it's funny that you'd ask because I've got the spoon here. It's right here. This was Gifted to me by actually a tea supplier in the north of Germany when I visited them for the first time It's a bit I think I shouldn't have put it in the dishwasher and um, Yeah, with this as uh, this indeed we would for, for tasting teas in order to um to um, judge the, the quality, that's that's exactly what we do. So we use the spoon then. And then we go like this, right? And then for a, for a bunch of teas, like 30 teas in a row of this of a similar type. So if I were to work in the tea industry as someone, which which I'm not, I'm not a tea taster. Um, so my skill and my, my, my expertise is not to um, look at 30 types of 30 teas of the same type and then decide um, which of these batches to buy say 500 tons um, of for for any given year for a tea business right um, I mean I could probably I could probably give you my my personal opinion and I'm starting to translate this 
about about any of those teas, but that's that's a totally different kind of area of expertise. Because it's obvious things you have to keep in mind is like, okay, what is our tea business? What is our we as a tea importing business? Um, what's what's our tea? What's this, our standard for this specific tea? And and how much can we go left or right? Because of there's always um, there's always um, changes in weather and climate, and in any given year it will be the harvest will be different. So the the skill of a tea taster will be to find the right tea for the specific product and to keep product the product consistent over the over the course of years of the years, and then of course that's when blending happens right because um it's very very difficult and usually something we more have in the specialty tea market to have um just just unblended loose leaf teas um as soon as you go to the i want to say mass market here is the 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 the, the polar opposite so a lot of the teas you find in the supermarket will be blends because you may have noticed they taste the same from year to year to year to year and that is only possible um at that scale specifically you know because that's where we're talking mass market here at that scale it's really only possible to achieve if you know how to fine-tune your your blend so um maybe your assam um assam tea will have a little bit more of uh, this assam this year and of that assam that year and then the following year you, you change it ever so slightly um yeah but that's where the the, the tasting and zipping uh, originates. Not so much in in uh, tea workshops that I do for for a general audience. Really. It's it's a fun thing, but um, I already get uh, strange looks when I encourage people to to slurp the tea just from the the teacups in, in my tea seminars. I always encourage people <laughs> to slurp because it helps the tongue and more importantly the the nose to. Um, to detect the aroma and then the, get the most out of the tea. Uh, where was we're using this cup right now? And I infuse the tea, and so we can keep drinking tea. That's that's how it works. Yeah, but good question. Thanks. I would um. The only time where I'd probably do a tea tasting in terms of evaluating a range of teas for a client would be if I were to have a, a cafe or a hotel that needs support with their assortment of teas or their, you know, the teas that they offer. And um, then I'd probably have a session with them, a workshop with them, where I find out what their food is about, what their service is about, what their, their brand is about, and then I'd probably come up with a suggestion of of teas that they should um, maybe have at their space, and then I'd, I'd arrange kind of a, a bit of a simplified tea tasting session, so to guide them through why I chose this and that tea, and then show them, okay, this is a green tea from Japan, grassy notes, uh, this is a um, a black tea from uh, China, multi notes. You know, this goes well with this, and that goes that way. So just to get them a general understanding of how um, taste and aroma works with tea. Um, also, you're meant to drink tea hot. Slurping cools it to a drinkable level. Nothing worse than an hour old lukewarm tea. Mmm. Personally, I'm careful with statements that start with you're, you're meant to or you're supposed to. Um, I uh, usually prefer to encourage people to experiment with drinking tea, preparing tea, whichever way they want and whatever their gut feeling, gut feeling tells them how they should do it. So, first off, Yes, I drink tea hot most of the time, and exactly what, you, like you said, slurping cools it to a drinkable level. Um, if I were to forget this uh, tea here and come back in an hour, I'd still drink it cold. Some teas, some teas it works better. So there are teas, um, 
this one not specifically. It's not going to be too bitter or too strong, but um, a nice oolong tea will still taste great uh, if you drink it, if you leave it to cool down and then drink it. Some teas, like strong black teas, Assam tea, for example, Darjeeling tea, uh, they have a very, 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 very strong astringency, and that gets more pronounced when the tea cools down indeed. So some teas that have an intense bitterness and or are very astringent. If you don't like those notes, then you better drink the tea hot because um, the hot temperature of the water will kind of um, cover the, the, the bitterness and the astringency a bit, whereas the cold water will um, make it more intense. So the tongue tastes more bitterness and feels more astringency because it's actually a dry geminal sensation. It's not a, it's not a taste, the astringency. Um, feels more of the astringency also on, on cold water. That being said, there's a lot of teas that I love to drink cold and about nowadays I want to say 50%, but maybe even only 40%, 40% of the time I infuse tea even with cold water or lukewarm water, um, um, to be honest. So cold brew or lukewarm brew is a thing and it works for a lot of teas. I want to say it works for all the teas. And um, that's different then, so I'll give you that. That's different from infusing a tea with hot water and then leaving it to cool down. Infusing it with cold water right away will bring out a very different result. So the bitter notes, for example, the bitter, the bitter notes that come with the catechin. Ah, oh, shit. It says, now it's telling So, uh, the husband suggested me before I started the stream that I use the LAN cable. And I was like, no, we'll be good on Wi Fi. Wi Fi is good because my gaming notebook um, really had, like, the, the Wi Fi is always, su always super strong, even here um, on, the, on the second floor. Whereas um, his desktop PC has very bad Wi Fi reception up here. But um, I was like, nah, I, I game on that without a cable connection all day. I was like, Every day, we are back. So thanks for thanks for for, for for staying. So next time I'll start with the cable connection right away. Maybe that's even maybe that was even the problem in the first place that the Wi-Fi was I don't know overwhelmed with receiving the camera signal and the what have you. Anyway, we are back. Thanks for staying. Dan Chapman in the house. Thank you for joining us. Um, Josh, are you still streaming? Or do you still stream? Dan Chapman. Because I know that our... So, Dan Chapman. Uh, nope, that's not the one. Shout out Dan Chapman. That's the one. Go follow Dan over on his um, music channel, and I hear he's also an avid gamer. So um, go and say hi. I think one of our oldest friends here on the channel. I think only Mod Josh and Anoku are, have been around for longer. Josh, you actually brought me over to Dan's channel, I think, or was it the other way around? I never, I never know. I think you brought me to Tangerine Club and um, we found each other on Dan's channel. I don't remember. <laughs> Droids, Droid Insanity. First time chat, to show T-Pad now, <laughs> please. <laughs> of course, showing T-Pad now is possible. So um, the T-Pad uh, goes by the name of Little Iroh. Little Iroh is also one of our bots over on the Discord channel. 
uh, Discord server. So if you want to become friends with Little Iro, make sure you join our Discord server if you're not already there. And let me, Uncle Iro and Little Iro, and I don't know who I am, Grand Grandpa Iro, um, showing the teapad. Is that enough light? Let me bring the light to. You. Is it even? Is is Little Iro even of focus? Yeah, kind of, kind of get the idea, right? Teapad, teapad time. This is a an ochre clay, which I really like. Which is the only, I don't want to say only, um, but it's the 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 clay that I like the most, as you can tell from my teapot in in a similar color. Just that little Iro here has seen a lot of darker teas of late, and. Um, Smells a little bit like Earl Grey, actually. And and little Iro lives lives in here. Little Iro likes to shower in the discarded water that goes there after we rinse the tea leaves. <laughs> Thanks. Glad you like it. Um, and then please share your own tea pad stories. What's your tea pad called? What does it look like? I think this is this is probably one of the more traditional or more common styles, right? There's all sorts of tea pads and then or tea companions, I even want to say, in all shapes and sizes. And um, yeah, this is I think this is fine, but I'm not a yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of tea pads. I like little Iro here, but um, I usually prefer to just like use stuff like this, like just a just a pebble or a stone or here a piece of piece of wood I brought from the forest um, actually near the village where I grew up brought this back so things like that that kind of make me feel connected to my own past or to the nature to the um, you don't have tea pets you are a coffee snob but you know about tea pets perfect <laughs> you've come to the right place then <laughs> welcome to Thomas talks tea um, if we know each other already by any other name or on any other of the social media platforms, please forgive me. Um, the name rings a bell though. Either way, welcome to, to the tea house here. We're having Shankuar, so an aged tea aged for then since 2007 as it was um, harvested in 2007 will have looked much much uh, paler much more green or more like a almost like a white tea back then and was stored in hong kong and then i bought it in, in Düsseldorf last year um, we call it our anniversary tea and it's been with us for a year and this is what usually you want to avoid so it's been like this so you can see actually I should rather do it like this right so yeah that's better so I infused it for way too long now which is fine because this tea won't get too bitter but if you were to do this with a say Japanese green tea especially at this height this this uh, temperature uh, your tea you 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 better you better enjoy bitter notes because you'll have a very bitter liquor as we as we call it in tea speak. Is it your first time yet? Thanks. So Twitch is not lying when call, they call you a first time chatter. Yeah, and then again for those who missed it, I'm gonna use these cute, this cute set of a sniffing cup. And then the zipping cup. So tea goes in here first, then this one on top, and then probably I'll make a whole mess again, like this. And then ever so gently, and then this is really where I can enjoy the fragrance. <sighs> nice. And then this is where the zipping happens. Let's go for a little bit of ASMR. <laughs> Mmm, delicious. Probably, I'm not, I'm not even sure if the the noise gate allows for slurping. Maybe it's even censored automatically by OBS.
yeah but coffee snobs and coffee lovers are welcome um everybody's welcome here i enjoy my occasional glass of coffee i have to say i usually drink it more um if you know um if you know um in uh, Israel, they call it coffee bots, so it's a um, Arab Israeli style coffee that you brew just by you just basically throw the coffee powder in a glass, add hot water, and then wait for the coffee to settle at the ground, and then you just drink it like that. And coffee bots translates as uh, mud coffee because you always end up with a little bit of coffee in your like. Uh, in your mouth. So, but that's that's usually how I drink coffee. So, certainly not a coffee snob, more like a coffee noob or just a lazy coffee drinker. And maybe tea, maybe that's part of why I love tea so much because you can, I don't want to say can be a snob about it, but you can take your time, you can appreciate tea very much like you would um, talk about and enjoy wine. There's a lot of parallels between specialty tea and wine, and probably also between wine and, and coffee, I, I assume, you, you'd probably say. Um, in terms of terroir, so the weather, the, the soil, the weather, the climate, the weather, the soil, uh, the harvest time, the, the cultivar, right? Like in, in wine, we have different cultivars and hybrid plants, and in tea, it's, it's basically the same. And um, then in tea, we also have which part of the plant you harvest. So whether it's the young buds or the youngest leaves or even the, the stems, you can harvest the stems of the tea plant and then have something that the Japanese call kukicha, so stem tea. Um, yeah, but parallels are really, are really there. And at the same time, while you probably wouldn't usually drink in most cases you 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 wouldn't drink um a rare bottle of wine r straight out of the bottle but you decant it and then drink it and enjoy it from a glass with tea even with specialty tea like i all the time also prepare it really casually so in summer i throw it in a in a large bottle and then just add warm water or cold water even and take it to the park um or I, I, I brew it grandpa style, as we call it. So also similar to the, the coffee um, um, coffee style, uh, the, the way that I described it earlier. So just a, a large glass or jar and just throw in the leaves and then zip right from the from the tea leaves. That's a lot of teas that you can do it with. Um, and it's even traditional way of, of preparing drinking tea in some regions of China. Oh uh, yeah, the varietals, altitude, and how it's processed, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, in coffee. See, it's so we we could nerd out about that. Out about that. Um, you you're talking about coffee, me talking about tea, someone else talking about wine, and it would be different, different uh, flavors and aroma for, and, and and stuff like that and tastes. But basically, the a lot of aspects that are important um, for growing, harvesting, and then enjoying. The, 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 the plant slash the beverage are very, very similar, right? And um, yeah, so I, it totally always resonates with me when someone's passionate about wine or coffee, um, even though I may choose not to drink a lot of wine or to drink my coffee in a bit of a uh, less, um, less than ideal way or prepared in a less than ideal way. Um, yeah, what I love about tea is that um, I can take my time. I can nerd out about it. It's it's a it's a beautiful plant. It exists in in, in so many regions of the world. It's um, and that probably correct me correct me correct me. But for me specifically, tea is obviously connected a lot to um, East Asia and um, specifically to China, to Japan, to Taiwan um, as the origin regions i want to say or the region the origin countries the origin region of tea and um that's kind of where it ties into my passion for some of those regions of the world countries cultures their language i used to um study a little bit of japanese i'm currently um self-studying um taiwanese mandarin uh, slash chinese so it's kind of something you know where 
um, as someone who likes to go for total immersion when learning languages, but also total immersion when when going on a lifelong journey about something like tea. You know, I'm, I work as a tea educator. I, I, I conduct host tea seminars and, and workshops, but it's a lifelong journey, as you probably will agree. Coffee is probably the same. You, you can always, there's always a new coffee around the next bush or, and then there's so, many, so much more to discover and learn. And um, yeah, so I feel personally for tea, it's a it's such a vast world that is not only about the, the plant and the beverage and the processing and, and the, the all the aspects, but um, it goes beyond that because there's certain cultures that I personally am interested in um, that that tea plays such an important role in. And for coffee, arguably, there's also cultures where coffee plays a big role, obviously. Um, it's just a, for my personal taste, tea is just, it just got me and then never let, really let go of me. It's one of the few passions that have, has been with me, I have been with me for, I don't know, probably 20, 25, 30 years of my life. And you even have your funny looking sniffing cups. Yeah. That being said, I remember when I, so actually coffee, the, the um, coffee bots, the, the um, Arab Israeli style coffee, is um, I uh, learned about that back when I had a friend in um, Berlin who was um, from the, the region and uh, that's when I started to, to drink started drinking coffee like that um, so also nice yeah. which reminds me Arabic Arabic is still on my bucket list of languages probably then I'll start drinking more coffee again <laughs> Yeah, but if um, feel free to to join us here, leave a follow if you would like to continue the the conversation about tea and coffee and parallels. Uh, you're always welcome here to throw in things like this reminds me of coffee or stuff like that. Draw it insanity. Thanks for thanks for the follow. I'm missing things here. I know I've got the acti activity feed right next to me, so I hope I'm not missing things. If I am, please let me know. But I hope you also like the notifications for the follows. Notifications for subs, I'm not sure. You'll have to try them out at some point, I suppose. Um, Alternatively, go to um, ko-fi.com slash tgames and star stuff into, if you want to support the channel and my um, overall tea business that I'm about to restart full time from 1st of May on. I'll be offering, well, I'm already offering, but I'll go all in with my rebooted, restarted tea business. If you want to find out more about that, you can also go to, ta-da, someone came prepared, thomastalkstea.com, my website where you um, oh, and it repeats the notifications as soon as I um, change the scenes. That's not ideal. Never mind. ThomasTalksTea.com if you want to learn more about my background in tea, my way in tea, my story, and potentially my services in terms of tea workshops, tea events, team events. Also really great as an online format um, for the whole team. Uh, we can talk for hours, but I'll do it in 45 minutes to an hour. Um, if you work in a place where you feel like uh, uh, they need to be more aware of the needs of people like ourselves, right, who are coffee nerds or tea nerds, I don't want to say wine nerds because you probably don't want to drink wine during work, but coffee and tea, high quality specialty coffee and tea is something that really I recommend you find the time during your work hours and then sit down for just a few minutes and have a little tea ritual, not for an hour, not for half an hour, but even just 10 minutes of, of enjoying, taking time for a cup of tea, looking at the tea leaves um, will help you, will that make you end up more focused, more stress re resilient towards stress and stuff like that. And that's a lot of reasons why that is the case specifically with tea. So. If you think your boss or your colleagues should learn about why tea is such an amazing thing to consume, prepare and 
geek out about during during work. You'd not be opposed to being given wine at work. <laughs> I mean, sometimes, right? <laughs> No, but really, <clears throat> especially when I still had a job that required me to go to work or to work with a, with a team or with uh, clients um, that I didn't have the privilege to always handpick myself. I I use I try and st I try to start every day with uh, with a cup of tea and then I know a lot of people like before. I have my first, oh no, there, there goes the camera. I think the audio is still there. Yeah, I want to, I really want to go back to the DSLR, but. Ah, there we are. No idea what happened there. We're back. So, um, yeah, start every, every day with a cup of tea and um, it just helps me to Filter my emotions, um, be a bit more calm and, and focused in general, much more resilient to stress, really, and also just stress myself much less. And um, yeah, so tea is kind of something I enjoy, but also something that um, I, I, I really I hate to sound esoteric, overly esoteric when I talk about tea. Um, sometimes you can't help it, but it's let me go back to full screen let me go back to full screen he said and then okay maybe I lost the connection to no you are disconnected oh great why would i be disconnected yeah, so I'll probably buy that uh, stream deck after all, because as much as I love this digital version, I hate when it keeps disconnecting. Um, yeah, so tea is something to, to enjoy the way you would enjoy a glass of wine and talk about it that way, but also as something that I don't want to say I use as a medicine because while tea was a medicine first, specifically in China, because before it um, was uh, consumed as a, as a beverage, um, it's it just has certain aspects. I mean, the caffeine, obviously, same as with coffee, it makes you makes you feel awake. And then um, then in tea, we also have the theanine, which is an amino acid that is um, supposed slash said slash rumored to have certain effects on the brain, um, namely to increase the, there's certain studies that suggest that it increases the output of alpha waves in the brain. So it's um, associated with states of calm. And uh, that in combination with the caffeine leads to this paradox effect, right? Of you feel you're awake, but highly focused and calm at the same time, which is which is one of the main reasons why I like love tea so much. I, I keep saying that, right? Um, one of the main reasons. You know what? Let's let's just stay with this um, with this view anyway. Why not? Why not? Why is it disconnected? Why has it disconnected? Because I brought out my old phone here, and. Wi-Fi. Oh, it's connected to the wrong Wi-Fi. That is why. Then please just forget this other Wi-Fi. Thank you. Okay, it's going to reconnect now. Stay by. I will reconnect. Yeah, more about this next time. <clears throat> do we still have water? We do. So for the for those of you who missed it tomorrow for the third time tomorrow over on Instagram um by the way instagram.com slash Thomas Toxie and um my friend is on Instagram as Cleo Carista 
players from Brazil, specifically from Sao Paulo. And tomorrow we're going to talk about this tea here. Is it in focus? More or less. A tea that Cleo made herself by hand. Um, and we'll discuss tomorrow whether this can be categorized as a white tea, why it looks so dark. And after this first experiment of making tea herself, I think she created another few batches of tea since then, since she brought this to, to um, leave it here in Germany with me. So we'll talk about that tomorrow on Instagram at 9 p.m. local German time. And um, we'll probably put up a, a post on Instagram later. And um, I think there's an event over on the Discord server that I created. Discord, you say? So check that out. And we're going to talk about this and about Brazilian, about specialty tea culture, specifically in Brazil and, and why that is and how. And, and um, Cleo is going to share her experience also working as a tea person, tea educator in uh, Brazil. So that's going to be very, very cool. I look forward to that tomorrow evening on Instagram. Do, 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 do. Let's have another infusion. I'm not going to sleep tonight. So then if you're still here, I think we'll have to play another round of Star Citizen later or Helldivers or... other games so again very short infusion time it's not really going to reduce the amount of caffeine that's going to be in there because the caffeine is one of the substances that get released not immediately but within the first 10 to 20 seconds already so if you say oh just a very short infusion then i'll get around the caffeine that's not how it's going to work because then you'll end up with something that basically tastes like water and it will still have caffeine so the only way to get around caffeine if for some reason you want to, is to go for a decaffeinated tea. And then, um, hey, welcome back, Josh. And, um, and or for a tea that's naturally lower in caffeine. I mentioned Kukicha earlier, the tea made from the stems of the tea plant, which are lower in caffeine due to the fact that caffeine is used by the tea plant as a defense mechanism against disease and, and uh, insects so uh, the most sensitive parts of the tea plant namely the the buds the youngest leaves early in spring will have the highest amount of caffeine whereas the um the more robust parts namely the, the stem will be a little bit lower in caffeine so it's kind of like a naturally um a natural way to to um, lower your caffeine intake if, if that's something you want to be mindful about personally i either drink too much caffeine or not enough um, which is really bad because if you um, go back and forth between those two states um, you will notice probably notice side effects so in my case I get um, very strong headaches um, especially if I had I've had a lot of tea for a few days and then there's a day where I only drink say herbal tisanes or just water and then no I don't have any caffeine intake at all then I'll probably get a, a migraine or very strong headaches. So yeah, I try to keep my caffeine intake slash tea intake at a consistent rate. It's such a great tea. And it's been with us for a year and it's still only half finished. Look at that. I really want to go back to full screen. Why is that stupid thingy not longer connected? I'll try and fix this real quick. Catchphrase, let me try and fix that.
I don't know why it won't won't reconnect right now. Um, it's my first time trying this specific one. It's called called Touch Portal. Um, it's a free freemium alternative to the other one I mentioned earlier, and it looks really cool. But um, yeah, this is most likely my mistake by switching back and forth between Wi-Fi and and uh, cable. Anyway, we're back to full screen for now. And um, I can show you the tea leaves again. Oh, camera, focus. Is this focus? My eyes are too bad. I can't even tell from this distance whether this is in focus or not. I showed you the tea leaves. Do we still have, speaking of show the tea leaves, uh, what rewards do we have? We have the poster shack. Hydrate, unlock, da da da. Show the tea. It's fine by me. Suggest a poll. Add time, no cursing, IRL voice ban. Yeah, that's harmless enough, I suppose. So the the dreaded um, show the telescope is no longer there. Although, Josh, I, uh, I know you like to use it. Um, the telescope is actually right there, one meter from where I'm currently sitting. So I could even, in the future, bring back the telescope. If you are, well, that I'm already talking about telescope, if you're into astronomy, because we used to go by tea games and star stuff here, Azelus, please make sure you follow this and other channel's friend, Azelus Australis. I hope I'm getting this right. Dun, 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 dun. Shout out. Azelis underscore Australis. Um, a lot of bird watching streams. Very cool. I was there to, earlier today. But also stargazing and image stacking. So, for those of you who are into that kind of stuff, um, astrophotography really cool channel that I recommend. Did that work? Yes, that worked. Yay! I did a thing. I still kind of know how to use this. But... Um, let's talk plans real quick for the channel here on Twitch. Or for Instagram, Discord, Twitch in general. So I want to do one stream and probably that's going to be, spoilers, probably that's going to be in collaboration with Cleo, with whom we're doing the stream tomorrow on Instagram. One stream, I don't want to say one per week because that may or may not work, but one stream every two weeks. And... Um, whether it's going to stay on Wednesdays, I, I don't know right now. We'll, we'll figure something out. And um, then one stream per week here on Twitch. So potentially the, the tea tasting Tuesday. Um, we may or may not alternate between Tuesdays and Sundays. I'm still thinking whether I should bring the um, Sunday tea time back or reintroduce the lo-fi tea house so a bit more focus on the music a little bit less talking just me making tea um bringing up the volume a little bit for the music and then having that as a kind of relaxation station um format uh let me know if you think that's something you you'd enjoy hanging out over on friday nights saturday nights sunday afternoon what have you and um yeah, we can discuss all that over on the Discord server. Everybody who's a member there gets gets a vote <laughs> of sorts. And um, yeah, then once I start my workshops again, I'm also going to do online tea classes from actually this very space. 
and uh, which is why Twitch is so great to practice that and, and figure out what's still missing and, and what I still have to change and, and adjust. So you're kind of my, my test. Is TCAM coming back? Ah, oh, you are asking the right questions, the tough questions. Yeah. So the thing is, I have the um, DSLR camera right there. It's still the one if you've been here for a while you know it's the one where every 30 minutes i have to press the shutter button otherwise the live view is going to switch itself off and we're going to lose the 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 um, image and um my gaming rig should be strong enough to bring two cam you know what let's bring the t-cam right now um because i was thinking I have the I have a Logitech webcam still that's fairly good. I don't want to use it as the main camera, but I think as a T cam, it's not too bad. Let's do it live. What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Barely an inconvenience. So all we need is a free. Reconnection successful. Famous last words. I know, right? Okay, the camera is back. So all I did, I swear, if, I'm, I'm not sure if you got my, my rent. Um, all I did was connected this camera here, which was supposed to be the T camera. Oh, and now, the, now everything is reconnected, right? Okay. So what I'm trying is I'm going to because why not do things live here on stream, right? So I'm going to try and position it this way. And then I think I already prepared this so that it can. Um, camera two should be the webcam and camera two should be up there. Ta-da, easy barely an inconvenience am i a genius or am i a genius so we have this uh, there you have your key cameras back and now i can show you the the t with the t cam so eh, we can even do this yeah you know i'm thinking something something along the lines of this you, you know what i'm trying to do here right like like so and then obviously it needs to say tcam and stuff like that do, 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 do. yeah something something like this t camera Ta -da. and then i can just 
go like this to show you the T. Now, of course, we need a light there. Luckily, I've come prepared, so we can do things like this. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. We'll figure something out. That's enough. Enough lights to, to, to improve that, I think. T-cam. We've got a T-cam again. Who would have thought? Let me bring back the... Yeah. What do we think? Uh, you need something to cover the background to focus the T. Okay. Um... I mean, I can use my hand. Does it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, huh? You can see the T. It doesn't have to be in focus. Or does it? Oh, wait, I think it, it actually focused, it focused, it focused, it focused. And then if we add the light here, I'll just stay like this. I'll just stay like this. Oh, wait, I could do it like this. Right? Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Perfect, isn't it? I just need someone to, to sit here. Uh, uh, someone to make tea so I can stay like this. <laughs> yeah, I can probably put it there and um, does this go? I probably won't, so I'll have to. I'll, I'll, I'll figure something out. I'll figure something out. Let's see, can I? Ah, you know how I am. I always figure out things right away. Because this one has a one that has electricity in my computer, yeah? so I can just put this here. It's just a lot of things here on the table that I don't want on the tables, ideally. But so tea tasting Tuesday just turned into upgrading the stream experience Tuesday. Let me put this back here for the time being. Hmm. That's better. That's better already, isn't it? Um. Do, 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 do. Let me try if I can even further like this. And then this needs to go like this. Yeah, these go out. This goes in. <laughs> uh, okay, all in. And then this could be there and here. Can't you do this off stream, I hear you ask? Nope. This is live. And... And... Everything. Oh, I oiled the, the tea today, uh, the, tea, the table today. I cleaned it with oil. It's a little bit slippery, slippery but oily. Yeah, I mean, now I have an additional light here next to me. So that also means I can bring that one. Okay, now we've got a lot of... Nope, still not ideal. <laughs> Okay. You can do this, we can do this. Like this. So basically, so, so, something like this. Something along the lines of this. Yeah. I mean, there's a stupid light now on the on the table. But if it helps to appreciate the tea, 
And if it helps the camera to focus on the T, so be it. See the ring light and the... Now we're talking. Look at that. Look at that. Is that a T cam? Or is that a T cam? And then you can even see my cup here. And then if I put some tea in said cup, you'll be able to see the tea in there, kind of, yeah. Yeah, I know, the, the tea cam and the tea view was more spectacular in the past, wasn't it? Kind of. Makes you think whatever happened and went wrong at what point. Okay. TCAM. Okay, hold on for one second. See, and to avoid all that stuff, yeah, I know, no audio. To avoid all that stuff, uh, I was so relaxed last week for the first test stream when I just used, because I'd never done that before, I just used the Twitch mobile app to stream. And the delay, the latency, it's almost non existent. It is, it just works. Of course, then we don't have overlays. We don't have, um, well, I could use the stream elements to have the overlays and notification, at least part of it. I, we don't have be right back screens and starting screens and, and uh, stream ending screens. Um, we don't have the closed captions, which I hope are working today. Let me know if you can test that, if they're actually working. They should be working. Closed captions. Yes, they are working. So that's something I don't want to lose. Yeah, it works. Probably producing funny, funny things, right? If I say white tea from China. White tea from China. There you go. Funny things. Um, yeah, so... And I like the new overlay and then everything. So I kind of want to stick with the OBS, but this is really... 
I don't remember it being this frustrating in the past. I mean, we did this for how long? Two years? Ah. But the main problem is really the, the camera disconnecting. <clears throat> and I tried to connect it via the USB cable, but it won't. Um, it's only via Wi-Fi. So either I bring the DSLR back via the capture card or yeah, I really need a new camera. That's, that's basically it. It doesn't have to be an, anything fancy. Just, um, the, what's the one, the, one of the Sony cameras, the one that's recommended for vlogging and then streaming. I think it's 500 bucks or something. Um, if I get to the point at some point this year where I can, in good conscience, afford it, because the really only thing I need it for is, 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 is would be Twitch. And um, since Twitch is a hobby at this point and not something, obviously, that's it's part of business, um, it's hard to justify to upgrading it, even if I'd love to. Yeah, but... Do we like the, the T camera? I think it's a bit bright now, isn't it? No, it's too bright almost. But yeah, at least T camera's back. Um, Sata 9, thanks for the inspiration. I can now viewer rewards. Let me see, because, uh, no, not rewards, community, activity. Um, where was it? It should show me. Do, 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 do. What is it on the stream manager? Show the T, yes, and I show the T so I can. Channel points. Never mind. Anyway, thanks for your patience, everybody. I look forward to watching this stream myself, rewatching it and checking what went wrong at what point, and um, also thinking of how I can hide that ring light a bit more so it's not so visible. And at the same time, we have enough light on the T cam. Maybe I need to rearrange this little setup here and put it on that table in front of me. So T cam would be, I put stuff there. That is possible. I'll have to think about it. But yeah, I feel like it's an improvement already. T camera is back. <sighs> yeah. This was supposed to be relaxing. <laughs> also for me. Also for me. Um, okay, I think we're going to do one more infusion here because I need more tea. And then we'll find someone to bless with a micro raid, should we? Um, what are we in the mood for? Something music, something gaming. Uh, for the gamers in the house, Boy Dude is um, streaming Helldivers 2. After a hell of a stream, we could move on to watching a hell of a game. Um, our friend Val, let me check out what Val's up to. Do 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 Celtic speech, Celtic music, bards and sacred sounds. Sounds very nerdy. I could see Dan appreciating that. And uh Ratatwa is playing League of Legends. Jupiter Jepson Apex Legends. Which I thought we were supposed not to play this uh this week because of that that um that uh, security issue there. 
So, yeah, I think we're going to if it's if it's fine, but I think we're going to go on a micro raid to to our friend Val. It's been too long. Raid Val. Is it one hundred? Yes. So. One last infusion here, and then we're going to raid um, Val100 on Twitch, a dear tea friend, I can say of mine. Um, much more knowledgeable than I'll ever be about tea and um, tea science. Um, I want to say a famous tea educator and tea professional, really. Um, even off, like, off stream, like, with, with a career of, of decades and Val is such an such an amazing person um and knowledgeable about so many things tea uh, languages history culture science you name it um so please sign up for the raid if you are a subscriber copy the sub raid command which doesn't seem to never mind copy the raid command and um then we'll go and say hi to val with a little micro raid i love those i miss those thank you for tuning in for stopping by today for your patience with this still work in progress thing all i can say is i'm glad i'm back um maybe i needed a break from talking about t on stream, in public in general, but I'm super excited to this year focus again on tea and to, um, are we raiding already? Um, did the raid get canceled or did, did we raid already? Uh, I'm confused. <laughs> oh, we're raiding already. Okay. <laughs>